Hello Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs, singles, couples, everyone in between, including cross watchers. There's a little love reading for you. What's the current energies with your person right now? Between you and your person, with your person, what they're thinking, what they're feeling, where they're coming from. Um, take what resonates, leave the rest. Uh, I want to pull from this Oracle deck and ask Spirit, what's leading the way in terms of your love life or with this situation, this person? Um, again, you don't have to be coupled with this person right now. For some of you, this is somebody that's on your mind and in your heart. The connection is there. So what's leading the way when it comes to this person toward Virgo? What is it that they really want to say? What do they want Virgo to know? What do they want to say? What do they want Virgo to know? Please pop a couple of cards and then we'll get the main spread for you. Well, mum's the word with this person. They're certainly not spilling their thoughts or feelings, <laughs> hiding from you what they're really thinking and feeling and or what they don't want to take responsibility for or what they don't want to feel vulnerable about in front of you. There's one. I'm sorry I couldn't do right by you. Oh boy, Virgo. Wow, you've got somebody regretting their actions or what they did or didn't do, what they said or didn't say, shoulda said, coulda, woulda, shoulda. Um, what they didn't follow through on, what they could have done differently. Anything else this person wants to say to Virgo, what they wish they could say to Virgo? Any other cards, please? We will take them. I'm more affected than you know. If I knew then what I know now, I would have made different choices. Wow, Virgo, you are really, really dealing with somebody who is sad and regretful about how things went down between you. And they wish that they could go back and change the outcome, change their actions, change just everything about it. Sounds like you've got somebody that's not only regretful, but just sad. You know, feels, a, feels like a melancholy sadness here. All right, angels and guides, we're going to do a spread here. I think it's a 10-card spread. Just get the, uh, you know, the basic foundation and then how this person is viewing the situation. Virgo, 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 sun, moon, rising, singles, couples, everyone in between, angels, guides, universe, good Lord above. Please bring forth the messages for Virgo when it comes to their love life and the person that they're thinking about, the person that's on their mind and their heart, whether they are with them or not. What is the deal with their person and what does their person want? Where do they stand? You know, what's, what, what's the energy going on here that Virgo needs to be aware of when it comes to this person? Last shuffle. Here we go. Okay, split the deck. The central issue, the magician. In the past, the justice card. In the future, the ten of wands. Let's move this over a little bit. The overview is the four of swords. The foundation is the lover's card. Wow, so there is definitely love and attraction there or a soulmate connection or some, some kind of chemistry going on. Um, how your person views themselves when it comes to you, there it is, the Four of Cups. Take a good look at that, Virgo. How they view themselves when it comes to you. How they view you at this time is the Page of Swords. That's interesting. Their hopes and fears when it comes to this situation is the Five of Wands. The Blessing in Disguise is the Sun card and the Outcome is the five of pentacles wow so this is picking up on energy that is talking about there's still difficulty between you or a rift um, or a separation or even even estrangement and you know just just from this layout right here it doesn't look like it's going to be improving anytime soon what's on the bottom of the deck there you are the queen of pentacles so virgo is standing in their power in their royal power, nonetheless, um, you know, boundaries intact and, you know, confidence and 
uh, just knowing who you are, what you want, what you don't want, what you will and won't put up with. So that's really interesting. So in the center of the reading here, the, you know, the, the, um, the central issue is the magician. Now, in the in the positive aspect of this card, this is all about manifesting magic, manifesting a new beginning, manifesting something better than what you have now, uh, manifesting beyond your current you know situation, circumstance, life, existence, whatever. Um, manifesting a new beginning between the two of you, or this person is hoping to do that with you. Now, this can always be flipped, right? On the, on the shadow side of this card, this can talk about manipulation. So the magician on the shadow side is not friend. I mean, total foe. Magician, smoke and mirrors, you know, everything is a facade. Okay, so we will definitely clarify and see what is going on there. Now, what this could mean is that this situation between you and this person has been heavy for a while. And both of you are tired of the heaviness and hoping to manifest a new beginning, whether it's with each other or without, you know, and... It might be getting to the point where you're forced to move on, you know, separately um, so that you can find peace in your life again. In the past, we have the justice card. So this is telling me that something definitely happened between the two of you where justice was not served. And for, for a lot of you watching this, justice still hasn't been served. Obviously, this energy is coming through to show that there are unresolved issues here or an issue between the two of you uh, where you guys need to have a come to Jesus moment and uh, sit down and have that conversation. And there has got to be transparency between the two of you. Both of you have got to take responsibility for you know your part in things and who did what and who said what and all that kind of stuff. Even if there is blame shifted more so on one side than the other, uh, whoever you know is the person that needs to stand up and claim that needs to be mature enough, strong enough, and confident enough to do so. And so maybe for some of you, you are definitely dealing with somebody. I mean, look here. It's, it's just like oh, heavy burdens, not wanting to deal with this, kind of dodging a bullet, trying to. I really feel that for the majority of you, you're dealing with somebody who is continued, I'm sorry, who is continuing to be eaten alive on the inside about this situation. They're carrying very heavy mental, emotional, and psychological burden when it comes to whatever happened between the two of you. And justice hasn't been served. So, you know, the interesting thing is, is that, you know, with this card in the upright position, there could have been some justice served just more karmically, whereas you weren't witness to it or privy uh, to it um, and, and them toward you. And, um, you know, and, and especially for those of you that haven't talked to this person in a while, you've been estranged or whatever the case may be, and you guys have kind of gone your separate ways, but the wound is still very much there and needs to be dealt with. Um, and you guys have been trying to do healing on your own, and maybe there's been some karmic justice that has happened as a result of that. But nonetheless, uh, you know, balancing the scales here needs to happen between you. No matter how much time goes by, years, weeks, months, years, <laughs> years and more years, um, you know, the wound is still there. It's still festering. Um, and people will carry forward the memory of whatever happened. And until it gets resolved and you actually sit down and have that conversation, it's always going to be there until the day that you die, they die, whatever. And so there's a lot of people in this world who tend to run from taking responsibility of their part in things when it comes to relationships, not just romantically, but all relationships. Taking responsibility for their actions and their behaviors, what they did or didn't do in any type of situation. So they run from it and run from it and run from it. And they hope that if they can run far enough away that, you know, the, the situation will just be forgotten about and it, it, it will just it'll just disappear with time. But that's never actually what happens. That that thing. Okay, whatever transpired is there. It's out in the universe. It's there for eternity. This is unfinished business between you on a soul level. And so therefore, it's going to keep repeating itself, not only as a theme in this incarnation, but it's going to be carried forward into the next incarnations, future lives, where this lesson is always going to come back around again. And so whoever you're dealing with here, it looks like they're really feeling sorry for themselves and it looks like they lack the confidence to step forward and have a conversation with you, Virgo. And they are very much aware that justice needs to be served here, balancing of the scales, like I said before. Um, and that, you know, in order to do that, they're going to have to eat crow. They're going to have to, um, you know, step forward with their tail between their legs and their head bowed and say, you know what, Virgo, 
I'm sorry, let me put my ego down, right? And, uh, and stand here humbly in front of you and eat some humble pie. And so that is really what's kind of coming out here. So that's really interesting. Now, the overview is the Four of Swords. So definitely taking a rest from this situation, taking time apart. You know, and again, for some of you, it's just hours, weeks, or days. Um, and others of you, it's years. And this situation is still a thorn in both of your sides because whatever goes unresolved is always going to be unresolved for eternity. Like I keep saying, it's out in the ethers. Um, and so this four of swords is indicating the need to heal from this situation little to no communication as well little to no mental stimulation there are a lot of thoughts going on privately you're thinking about them they're thinking about you um but uh you know but again just this need to to retreat rest and respite rejuvenate um and probably gain the courage to sit down and have that important meaning Okay, now for some of you Virgos, you cut this person off completely. The overview energy is definitely talking about, you know, cutting that tie, uh, you know, and cutting off communication and then stepping into the present moment and trying to manifest new beginnings, new magic, new chapters in your life. Vice versa for those cross watchers, you know, you could have been the one to cut Virgo off. Okay, now here we have though in the foundation is the lovers, very strong, delicious, seductive, attractive energy and so even though there's been some rough choppy waters between the two of you the foundation between you is still attraction you guys are still attracted to each other or one is more attracted to the other you know this could be an uh, you know that push pull energy where somebody did pull away and therefore it caused the other person to salivate even more because they lost a good thing or whatever you know and, and that can always be switched um, you know and when somebody stops chasing the other one you know wants more of that that kind of thing but you know it does go deeper than that it goes deeper than the ego because this is in the foundation so there not only is it an attraction in the flesh but this is a connection on a soul level for sure whether this person is meant to be your life partner or not you know that's a different story this could be life partner soulmate lover acquaintance love affair um, or just an affair or just a sexual relationship this could be a friends with benefits you know these types of connections can take on so many different uh, personality styles you know wearing different hats this could be a marriage partner this could be a long-term you know boyfriend or girlfriend where you know you're committed to each other you're just not married whatever the case may be lovers 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 all the way so very strong energy and this is a soul connection for sure that is playing out in the physical especially in the flesh um, and uh, in the you know in the desires of the bedroom okay now could this mean could this be pointing to maybe a third party situation yes we will find out when we uh, clarify if there is a third party situation involvement or an affair or somebody was still stuck on an ex from their past or whatever but nonetheless the basic energy between you Virgo and this person that you're thinking about is the lovers which is very strong energy and you know I presume that that is why your person when they see themselves when it comes to you is the four of cups because they absolutely not only missed out on a good thing but they lost a good thing that's what it's looking like to me because there's a whole hell of a lot of burden coming out in these cards here and uh, this is focused on your person and what it is that they want to say to you I'm sorry I couldn't do right by you I'm more affected than you know if I knew then what I know now I would have made different choices and look at them sitting there sorry for themselves with the four of cups sadness melancholy regret wishing that they could have another chance wishing they could go back and change things wishing that they could rewrite the story so there's a lot of sadness here when it comes to you, Virgo, which is really, really interesting, right? As a result of that in the future is the Ten of Wands. Lots of heavy burden this person is carrying. And it's like even though the calendar has turned another page into a new year, this person is still carrying the burden of whatever happened between you with them. It haunts them, Virgo. It is ingrained in them. It eats away at them mentally, emotionally, psychologically. Um romantically <coughs> excuse me in their dreams so even if this person has moved on and is dating other people you know that's just a band-aid you are really under their skin not only is this card the burdens of success but it is the burdens of love as well you know eight ten of wands is two up from the eight and the eight is all about lots of communication 
text messages, phone calls, emails, making a lot of plans for the future, dating courtship. Eight of Wands can also indicate a proposal of commitment and or marriage. And then here it is, the Ten of Wands and the entire thing fell apart. So that's really interesting. So that's coming forward in the future. Now what this can also be indicating, Virgo, is that you are going to be carrying some burden as well. You too need some, uh, you know, some healing from this situation. Um, maybe you have your own level of sadness when it comes to this person in this situation. Okay. Now, how they see you in regards to them in this situation is the Page of Swords, which is rather interesting because this can mean a couple of different things. On the light side of it, they see you as somebody who is moving forward in your life and starting new, starting over um, in communication, thoughts, and ideas. And you're moving in a new direction, you know, creating a new chapter uh, without them, okay? Because the page is very young. It's the beginning, you know, of that, um, well, the Ace of Swords is, but you know what I mean? It's really the beginning of, of a lot of new things. And the Page of Swords does their research and they're, they're brainstorming ideas and they are manifesting, um, you know, what it is that they want to do next in their life, okay? There is a lot of, uh, you know, communication with this card as well. You know, I don't want to say premature communication, but preliminary communication sounds, it, it sounds better and it feels better for this feeling that I'm having because the preliminary communication is getting the ball rolling and getting things started. So whether you're doing research on a new project or business venture or you know, investment opportunity, whatever it is, you know, whatever it is that you're building and creating, um, even creatively, <clears throat> you're doing research in the next steps of how to do that. You're making some phone calls and making some contacts with people that you need to align with in order to, you know, pull the strings and get this thing done. So that's what I mean by preliminary, um, you know, communication and just kind of starting to do that research. This is also a card that does talk a lot about gathering information. So, you know, you're busy manifesting and building, manifesting and building, and they're feeling left behind, especially with that four of cups and the five of pentacles and the outcome. They, they know that you are, uh, growing and expanding and developing new things. And, you know, just, um, there's a new you that's emerging here in 2022. And they know that they weren't a part of that. They can't take any credit for it, um, that you've moved on without them, etc. Okay. Now, the other thing is how they see you on the shadow side of this card is that they see you as keeping tabs on them, because this is that card that talks about watching people at a distance, um, and even stalkering energy, right? So they might have it in their head that you are, keeping tabs on them. You're watching their social media. You're, um, you know, I don't know if you're local to this person. Maybe you're keeping tabs on the cars in their driveway or who's coming in and out of their home or, you know, when they're at work or whatever. I mean, you know, that, that gets a little obsessive. So if you're starting to do that, you might want to check yourself. But, you know, a lot of you may not even be doing anything like that, but your person is so stuck in their ego that, they want to believe that you are spying and stalking on them. And really what you're doing is you're busy manifesting new beginnings, right? A lot of you, you're not even really thinking about this person. Yeah, you're watching this video and you think about them from time to time, but you're not consumed by them at all. You've moved on with your life and you're, like I say, building new for 2022. But this person, you know, they're so stuck in their ego that you know, the narcissism in them just wants to believe that you're stuck on them and therefore you are spying and stalking. So if you are dealing with somebody who's like that, then, you know, that's a red flag, Virgo. You want to be aware that that is in the very basic uh, nature of itself, the beginnings of mental illness. And so you might be dealing with somebody who is not mentally sound um, or is a little bit skewed in their thinking, or maybe they're pickled and they've got the ism. Okay. So just be careful of that. Um, so that's really interesting. Now, <clears throat> especially for those of you dealing with somebody that you haven't seen or talked to in a very long time, and I'm talking like, you know, months or even years for, for, for those of you, and this person, if they still believe that you're keeping tabs on them, then that right there is kind of sick, right? Because why would they ever think that years would go by and you would just be waiting and waiting and waiting and not moving forward with your life? You know, that's somebody that's really insecure, has a lot of neediness, codependency, ego issues, probably has childhood wounds. So just be aware of that. So we will definitely clarify and see exactly where they're coming from with this energy. Now, the hopes and fears is the five of wands. So that's really interesting because it's like, you know, this is one of those double-edged swords because they hope that you will still fight for them 
but they fear fighting with you if they step back in your direction to communicate with you. You know, for a lot of you, you're dealing with somebody who's a bit cowardly or maybe just a full on coward. They want to communicate. They want to come back and fix things. They're stuck in their little pity party, but they don't have the courage to step forward and actually make contact and communicate and follow through and be an adult because they're scared of your reaction. They're scared of what you're going to say. This person is really insecure and vulnerable on the inside. So even the slightest rejection from Virgo would make them buckle at their knees. And so this is interesting because it's like this you know this internal conflict they hope that you are still wanting to fight for them and fight for this connection and that you're still yearning for them and pining for them and that you are internally conflicted over them because that's what the five of wands is along with the five of swords is internal conflict mentally emotionally psychologically right um and or fight, wanting to fight for this connection but on the flip side this person is scared to approach you and um get your initial reaction because they're not sure if you will receive them well now the blessing in disguise here is the is the sun card which is a lovely energy it's a leo energy um you know which is the the king of the kingdom right the king of the zodiac if you will but nonetheless you know that that sun card is fire energy it's all about life and rebirth and burning off what no longer serves us uh confidence and energy and uh vitality you know, without the earth, I'm sorry, without the sun, the earth would perish. So the sun must come out to make everything grow, to make life, you know, continue to have a heartbeat and breathe and, um, you know, flourish on this earth plane. And so the blessing in disguise here is the sun energy. So something is going on here with stepping up your game in 2022, Virgo when it comes to your confidence, when it comes to st standing in your power, stepping in the shoes of who you're meant to become, when it comes to leveling up and expanding yourself, whatever that means for you, professionally, personally, platonically, romantically, even your own personal goals. So the blessing in disguise here. Now on the shadow side, the sun card can talk about ego, okay? So the blessing in disguise could be this person's ego is so big that it's protecting them from the major blow of admitting and realizing that Virgo is not stuck on them and uh, and they're not as important as they think they are because <laughs> if this person actually came to that realization they might curl up in a ball you know what I mean and shrivel away to nothing curl up in a ball and die like Frank Sinatra says you know I mean it would just it would it, it would just shatter their their um, their fantasy world and their existence so that could be going on here you know um, the Sun as well you know coming in as a blessing from spirit to help move things along uh, to do for us what we cannot do for ourselves and then the outcome here is the five of Pentacles damn I mean talk about just you know harsh you got the four of swords you got the four of cups you've got the Ten of Wands, you've got the Five of Wands, and then you've got the Five of Pentacles, right? That's a lot of heavy placement energy within the reading of hardship and in internal turmoil and guilt and remorse and sadness and melancholy and burden and strife and mental conflict and lack of confidence and all, all of these things. So... Your person is definitely hurting for sure, Virgo, still over you and over this situation. I feel for a lot of you too, if you were the one that cut them off and moved on with your life, that was a huge blow to their ego. Their ego cannot even handle that type of wounding. And maybe for some of you, your person has gone into a fantasy world, again, choosing to believe that Virgo still hung up on me because I'm that important. When really, for a lot of you, this person is the one that dropped the ball and messed up and uh, has doesn't know how to recover it, right? And, and they can't stand the fact that you're out there manifesting. The mere fact that you're out there manifesting new beginnings, new life, new chapter, new year, new business, new you, new, new creative projects, new anything, anything that you're doing to self-love, self-care, self-nurture, and expand yourself beyond where you are right now, that right there is a form of rejection and or rebellion and or revenge without you even trying to do that you know it's leaving them behind it's it's um it's bruising their ego for sure um 
they don't want to see you move on and do well without them. So, you know, there's that. Especially if they're really immature and petty, they definitely don't want that because that's going to be full of jealousy. Um, you know, the person who truly loves you wants to see you move on and do well, even if it's without them. They wish you well. Does it bother them that you're doing it without them? Yes, but they would never hold you back. But, you know, the outcome here is the Five of Pentacles, so leaving someone out in the cold, being left out in the cold, leaving a situation behind. Um, poverty, poverty physically, you know, like literally, literal poverty uh, financially, and or mentally, emotionally, and psychologically bankrupt, leaving somebody behind. So there's more burden in the future because the outcome is, you know, continuing to shut this person out, shut this situation out. And, you know, this is the thing. I feel like for a lot of you, you're dealing with somebody, and, and we'll find out when, when we do um, um, clarify, that you're, you're dealing with somebody who wants you to chase after them. You're dealing with somebody who's still waiting for you to make the first move, even though they are most likely the one that messed up just from the placement of these cards, okay? That can always be reversed depending on which Virgo you are. This person wants you to be the one to chase after them, to not only help them feel better about themselves and also to feel better about what they did or didn't do, but it will also let them off the hook so that they don't have to be accountable and take responsibility. Um, and this person also, you know, obviously is wounded, okay, probably going back to their childhood or somewhere in their family of origin, because as an adult, they're incapable, seemingly, of sitting down and having an adult conversation about what happened and what needs to change and what they're willing to work on and work through uh, and in what, what role and part they're willing to play in order to fix this. And so Virgo just isn't going to deal with that because Virgo's not in high school anymore. So Virgo has manifested and moved on. Um, and, you know, I mean, look at these cards here. Virgo has manifested and moved on and is leveling up. And I feel like for a lot of you Virgos, you're going to be revealing something new in 2022 that this person has no idea you've been working on. And when you do reveal it, whatever that is, whether it's professionally, personally, platonically, personal goals, um, creative projects, new business, um, you know, whatever, new appearance, whatever it is that you are working on for you, when it gets released and this person sees it for the first time, they're going to be floored. And they're really going to feel like a schmuck because this whole time they've been thinking that Virgo's pining after them and waiting for them and, um, um, you know, spying on them and feeling sorry for themselves when, when they realize Virgo's been doing work behind the scenes that has nothing to do with them. Virgo's been moving on the entire time. And, uh, and this person's going to be slapped across the face with that whenever, when you reveal whatever it is that you're going to reveal to the world, not just to them. You know, they, them seeing it will be, will be the, the, um, the side effect, if you will, will be secondary to what it is that you're sharing with the world. Okay. Really interesting. I am curious. I do want to get some cards here for these placements. Let's start um, clarifying now before we head on over to the uh, extended. I'm at least going to get the cards so that you can see what they are. And then we'll move on because this is almost at 30 minutes. And the bigger these files, these video files get, the harder they are to deal with as far as transferring and uploading and all that. I'm trying to keep my videos shorter moving forward. Oh, by the way, guys, um, Duncan and I have all new social media and websites for 2022. So check the link below to, uh, you know, to check out all of our new profiles and come on over and follow us and join us because we're going to start being a lot more active on social media. We're going to be doing lives. We're going to be posting a lot of stuff, um, et cetera, et cetera. So come on over there, wherever you're at, Facebook, Instagram, Pinterest, TikTok, and Twitter, I think are the five main platforms. And then of course our individual websites. So check them out. And our email addresses are listed as well if you need to contact us. All right. What, what is this that just flew out? Ooh, the eight of wands. Yeah. Moving forward, quick, fast communication. Now, in terms of communication between the two of you, again, lots of communication. Um, text messages, phone calls, emails, let's make plans. I got to see you. got to talk to you. This is that chomping at the bit, fiery energy, like I'm going to bust out of my skin unless I can see and talk to Virgo, okay? Now, in terms of other aspects of life, this is just moving, moving on and moving fast, moving quick in terms of projects and to-do lists and goals and all that kind of stuff. You're just out there moving and shaking and slaying every day. 
All right. I'm just going to shuffle real quick and split and pull from the top to save time. Because if I try to shuffle for each placement, we'll just be here forever. Angels and guides, please clarify this entire spread for Virgo. Virgo, 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 entire spread, please. One more shuffle. Okay, let's split the deck. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull two cards for each placement. Central issue, overview, I'm sorry, um, past. The overview comes from the bottom. And here we go. Foundation. How they see themselves when it comes to you, how they see you. Okay, interesting. Bottom of the deck, Wheel of Fortune. There it is, the wheels of fate turning in your favor, in their favor. Maybe they're hoping that things will turn in their favor when it comes to you, or this is just talking about leveling, leveling up, moving up, moving on, right? All right, so let's see here. What do we have? Okay. Of course, everything is reversed. So I think what I'm going to do just to save time, oh, that's interesting, is um, <clears throat> let's, let's look at them real quick. This is how they see themselves when it comes to you, okay? And we've got the Knight of Pentacles and the Ten of Cups. Wow. Wow, Virgo. Your person is not only sad and melancholy about what they're missing out on or what they messed up or what they let go or what they didn't fight for, but they are definitely fantasizing about a new beginning with you, fantasizing about making an offer, fantasizing about a future. The Knight of Pentacles, um, I'm sorry, this is the Page of Pentacles. My bad. The Page of Pentacles. So the Knight of Pentacles is the, the one knight that makes a true legitimate offer. And the page right under the knight is the one that makes an apology. Stands in honor and integrity and dignity. Um, makes, a, makes a legit offer. It's a smaller offer, but you know, dipping their toe in, in the water with good intentions. Uh, you know, hey, can we talk? Let's get together for coffee. Let's, you know, try to fix this kind of thing. So there's good pure intentions there, at least the desire to, but also the Page of Pentacles is honor, integrity, dignity, and apologies. Somebody who is ready to step forward and, you know, um, eat humble pie and, um, and uh, you know, just let that ego down and, and show you that they want to be a partner in this connection instead of a dictator. And then we have the Ten of Cups here, which is that happily ever after, happy, harmonious energy flow within relationships, love and romance, commitment, building a life together. This person is definitely daydreaming about you. Now, if, if you are dealing with somebody, your person is now dating somebody else, guarantee you that they're not totally happy with that person. That is a relationship of convenience and a relationship to fill the void. But really, while they're with that person, they're daydreaming about you. That's what I'm seeing there. How they see you. Is that page of swords? Why is that? Ooh, queen of swords and hangman. Oh my God. So really what this is telling me is that your, your person sees you as somebody who has not only um, drawn a boundary, but like, like um, locked horns. You know what I mean? Like a stalemate. Like you are in that queen of swords energy, which means you spoke truth. You shot straight from the hip. You told him where the bear's going through the buckwheat. You drew a boundary and then you stepped back and you held strong in your position. You have not wavered. You have not wavered. You have not stepped forward to them to communicate. You have not chased them. You have not been waiting for them, whatever. you. I mean, boom. It's like you put your final offer on the table, take it or leave it, and then you walked away, right? And so they see you as somebody who, could you be still waiting to see what it is that they're going to do about it? Yes. Are you waiting around for them though? No. And then the other thing with this is that they see you as that strong person who is standing your ground when it comes to communicating with them or not or moving on with your life or whatever your personal boundary is. And they see you as moving on um, to new ventures, new ventures, new communication, new people, new opportunities. So wow, wow, and wow. Very, very interesting. 
Pisces energy here too with that hanged man. Um, you know, we saw the Ten of Cups over here. And we, we've got Earth, we've got water, we've got, well, we've got every pretty much element and sign under the sun. All right. So those are those, those two, um, you know, you and them. So what we're going to do is move on to the extended and we're going to look at the rest of these. And then I'm going to pull more cards from other decks to open this up some more and see what else, uh, what else you need to know. All right. But the bottom line here is, Wow, Virgo, um, you definitely have somebody who's still stuck on you in 2022, and this is coming from the past, all right? So the link is provided below for the extended. I'll see you on the other side, and the rest of you, I'll see you back here next time. Bye.